I was an insurance executive. I worked uh, at three different insurance companies, one mortgage technology company. And it was not a good thing to be original at all. Got in trouble for it regularly. It's not good to speak out of turn. Got in trouble for that regularly. It's not good to do things differently than the way they, because they have procedures, right? Stacks of procedures. And agendas, and minutes of the things we discussed in the agendas, and endless meetings, and the people sitting in their desks and just doing these things over and over and over again. Does it sound like I enjoyed it? No. <laughs> I was a business analyst. You know, I'd go in and say, this is what the workflows are. Oh yeah, those were good years. <laughs> I was a project manager, getting other people to document those little things. That was fun. And then I was a manager, I was a director, and I was terrible at it. I don't know that everyone would have known how bad I was. I think my effort and my, my desperate type A need to always be good at everything covered it up, but so much effort for mediocre results in my mind, mediocre. What I was capable of was never possible because who I was was not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. How many people told me, let's just go back even further. I was in school, I was a young kid, you know, little Albert Einstein's age, I get my first report card, it's all A's. What does it say at the bottom? Talks too much. What? <laughs> Why? You bet. Talks too much. All the time. All the time. You know, my husband knows that I've fallen asleep when I stop talking. <laughs> because I'm talking, talking, talking. I'll talk about this and I'll just... And he looks over. Oh, she's asleep. <laughs> not, it's not surprising, though, is it? But for the majority of my career, I, I was in a situation where talking was bad. There just wasn't a lot of place for that. You were told what to say, and you had to say it. In fact, I would manage people out of their jobs. My boss had to come to me and say, listen, we need these people to keep working. <laughs> you know, because I would sit on these one-on-ones with them, and I would say, look, you seem very unhappy. What do you like to do? <laughs> you know, let's see what we can do for you. I would say it. And then I would get in trouble with my boss because they were, he was like, I don't care what they want to do. <laughs> I want them to type F4 and then the name, and then F5 to save, and then flip the paper over. That's all I want them to do, and I'm like, oh, but they're so unhappy. <laughs> so, speaker seems like a better idea, doesn't it? I don't talk too much, I just need a microphone. I want to rig, I want to put a PA system in my house. <laughs> and just talk to my children and my husband with a microphone all the time. I think I would be more pleasant. My voice might be louder, but I'd be happier. <laughs> How about a radio show host? Talking, 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 right? I mean, you know what? You just have to talk all the time. You can't take a breath. Better suited to be a radio host than an executive? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I interviewed Lolo Jones. Oh. Finding cool people and talking to them about what they did and sharing it with you, more suited for that? How about TV host? <laughs> that sounds like a good, look at me, look at me. I mean, I just can't stop. I'm like this all over the place. Doesn't it seem like the right thing to do? I mean, I freaked people out. My best friend, the first time I met her, she didn't like me. She's like, who does this girl think she is? Smokes in like this and starts gesturing at me. It wasn't a good situation. But put me in a different situation and now I'm flourishing. And it's easy.